to get it on the plate now. Two minutes to go. Come on. <laughs> Waiting on this tart to cook is killing me. Almost thinking I'm going to need to get it out. It's now or never, and I need to get this tart out of the oven. I've only got one shot. I've got one tart. It needs to be perfect. Oh, I've had a bit of a disaster with my pastry. It was a little frozen. Because of the heat, it's melting quickly, so it's not going to plan. <laughs> Under half an hour to go. With this hot weather, my pastry is melting. It's actually falling to pieces. At this point in time, I'm thinking pastry perhaps wasn't the best way to go. I probably should have got my pastry into my individual moulds before I even got it in the fridge. But it's too far into the cook. I just have to keep going and put it together like patchwork. I have to pop the shell in the oven. Whilst I'm waiting for that, I'll get on with the filling. I whisk up some cream egg and some of the beautiful goat's curd. Once I've got my filling done, I get on to adding the figs, pour in the mix, and then I crumble some of the feta over. I've only got one, so fingers crossed that this works. Bad news, everyone. Only 20 minutes left. 20 minutes to go. Push hard. I'm just keeping it really simple, and here are the crayfish right up today. I've got a bit of the salt bush, so I'm just going to do that in butter, and it's just beautiful. I'm making a snapper with sauteed mushroom and a fish jus. I'm loving the taste of my jus. Now, cooking the snapper to perfection is the most important thing in the dish. Mmm, it's good. Do you need this giant one, Janine? No, you go for whatever you need. Thank you, my love. Can't be careful here, please, my friend. No problems, my love. Oh, we're all so loving today. Oh, my God, yes. Okay. It's lovely. I love it. Love to love. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm going to cook a seared kangaroo fillet with goat's curd cream, a crusted pumpkin and a charred pumpkin, some pumpkin bark and the jus for moisture in the dish. Mm, that's beautiful. I know I've got a lot of elements, but I'm happy with how it's coming together. However, my overall aim of this dish is to really champion that kangaroo. And hopefully, if I get it absolutely right, I'll get tasted. Kind of smells great. Thank you. The flavours seem to be working, so I'm pretty happy with it. How are you going? Good. Today I'm cooking salt bush roux with a kwandong plum and lamb jus. So I'm using the salt bush two ways. I'm doing a salt and vinegar salt bush, which I'm going to roll the roux in, and I'm also going to keep some of the leaves fresh on the plate. Salt bush grows just by the beach near my house. Whenever I'm there with friends, I usually just eat it raw, and they think that I'm a freak. It's just a flavour that I really, really like, so I'm really happy to be using it today. Yes. We are on. Now it's time to cook the roux. If I overcook the roux today, it will be a disaster and I probably won't get tasted. So making sure that I'm sealing it on a really hot pan just for 45 seconds on each side, just to make sure that it's rare. My roux is looking really good on the outside, but I need to let it rest for a little bit and hopefully it's cooked perfectly on the inside. Something smells it's fantastic. Thank you. You're making a gravy with the quandongs. Um, and also the honey, and yep. um, so I'd use some lamb bones as well. Oh, mine. And that's my roux resting. Nice and pink in the middle, yeah? Yes, I'm hoping so. Just make sure that what you say it is is what it's like when you cut it open. Yes. So, you know, you're tight rope walking at the moment. Yep. You're halfway towards glory, but be very careful. Matt seems excited, which makes me excited, but I just need to make sure that I can deliver on his expectations. Only see my reflection. I've got about eight minutes left before my tart has to come out, and I'm a bit nervous and I can't see, so I don't want to open it because I don't want to lose the heat. Time is getting away, and I'm really anxious that the tart's not going to cook. But if the tart comes out as good as I expect it to, I'm hoping that I've got a good chance of being tasted today. I think it will just be set, just. As long as I can get it out and get it plated without the whole thing falling apart. Because it's going to be hot and I'm going to need to work fast. Five minutes to go, five minutes. Come on, let's move it. Today I'm making an apple flower tart. 
I'm really happy with the pastry. Just get about plating time. I mean, I still have to sand off the top and make the flour, so I'm a bit nervous at this point. I get my caramel in the tart case, but I still got to cool that down before I put the cream in. My apples are still not a rose yet. It's a stressful moment right now. Oh, oh my gosh. You haven't a moment to waste. Three minutes to go. Come on. Come on. I've kept it really simple with a crayfish fettuccine, and I think it looks really good on the plate. I really hope the judges want to taste today. My roux's been resting, my heart is pounding, I have to cut into it now, and hopefully it's perfect. It needs to be medium to rare, but more towards the rare side. Oh, yes! I'm happy. I'm really happy. It's a massive relief that the roux is cooked perfectly. Now I just need to coat it in the salt bush and make sure that on the plate it looks really, really inviting and it's perfect. With some kwandongs on the side with some mushrooms and salt bush. I'm really happy with my pumpkin bar. I'm so glad that I've stuck to my guns and the kangaroo looks amazing. Now I want to focus on making this dish look delicious. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> to get it on the plate now! Two minutes to go, come on! <laughs> Waiting on this tart to cook is killing me. Almost thinking I'm gonna need to get it out. It's now or never, and I need to get this tart out of the oven. I've only got one shot, I've got one tart. It needs to be perfect. And it looks great. Oh, look at that. I just hope when they cut into it, it's set. I just have to quickly drizzle it with some of the beautiful Ligurian honey that we've been given. So it's just going to give it a little bit more sweetness. This is it. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. That was exhilarating. Like, I've never cooked with condoms before. I was really excited to try it. I really hope I get tasted today. I'm really proud of my dish. So just fingers crossed. I think I still would make a tart if I had my time again. I'm happy with the consistency of everything. Is it enough to get me tasted? I can never tell. <laughs> We'll just have to wait and see. You had 60 minutes to use all that gorgeous South Australian product and put up one beautiful dish. Obviously, we're looking for the five best dishes. And the first dish we'd like to taste belongs to... First up, what have you cooked? I've cooked a goat's cheese and fig tart. Wow. I think the thickness of the pastry and just the form on it looks really good. Done very well. Barry. Thank you. Come on, have some with us. Oh, sure, why not? What do you reckon? I like it. I like it too. I like it too. What's lovely about it is all the textures, just absolutely delicious. Soft, crumbly pastry, there's a little saltiness in there. And I love those sweet figs. They're just really yum, aren't they? Yum. Mystery box challenge. Haven't won yet. Yeah. Today could be the day. Thank you. Good stuff. <laughs> Jess. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I've made a apple flower tart. So I've got the apple caramel on the base, honey, cream, and fresh apples on the top. All right, good. It's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> the 
There's some great flavours in there. You know, I love the caramelised apple. The only thing I'm finding is that it's just a wee bit out of balance for me. And I think the base, it's just that little bit too thick to go with all those other lovely flavours. Um, but, geez, it looks spectacular. Well Thank you so much.